Hi, today I wanted to talk a little bit about why it is I find that my Lenovo ThinkPad T520 is one of the most portable laptops that you can find in the market. A lot of people laugh when I say this and they think that I'm kidding or that I'm joking or that I'm a fanboy and that I'm just being ridiculous because when you just look at this laptop, like look at it closed, look at the size of my forearm and I exercise and the size of this laptop, like this is, this is pretty huge. And it, it is thick. If, when you hold it in your hand, it feels like a brick. I could probably beat somebody's face in with this and they would be dead if they got hit with it once. I mean, this is hard. I, this has fallen off of ladders several times. It's pretty durable. So you can see in the corner over here where it's broken and over there, it's fallen off of ladders, tables, all sorts of crazy stuff. And it still works. But one of the reasons that I find this to be the most portable laptop there is, even more portable than a MacBook Air, is that I can hold it like this and you can pull on it really, really hard and you won't get it out of my hand. If you're much bigger than me and you attack me, eventually you'll get it out of my hand. But you can't just casually walk over to me, slightly distract me and do this and take it away. Further, if I need to tilt it, I can do that. If I need to hold it upside down, I can do that too. Look, see this? It's upside down right now. I can do deltoid exercises with this. And you may think, well, that's a silly feature. Why do you value this feature? Why do you care? Well, a lot of the video series that I'm doing here, so a lot of this motherboard repair video series that you see on YouTube, people have asked me, if you record this video series at one in the morning, and then you say that you're working all day, that you're working on projects all day, then where do you find the time to edit the videos? Because I, I believe it or not, I do edit the videos. So if I go to the bathroom or I decide to come back to something later, I edit that. If I turn the air filter on and the hacko on, and as a result of that, now it's much noisier in the room, I'll make a separate audio track for that, and I'll use a different denoising profile on that. I actually go through trouble, to believe it or not, to the, even though the production quality isn't amazing, I go through effort to make these videos not a complete pile of crap. So if I'm working with the air filter turned on high and the hacko turned on high, I'll actually open a new track and have it learn, the, I have isotope learn the uh, audio profile of that different noise and apply it there. I put some effort into this, and this is all done on the train. So when I leave here at one or two or three in the morning and I take the train ride home from work, I do my editing on this ThinkPad. And very often, as is in a crowded city like Manhattan, I have to stand on the train. So on this machine, I can actually edit videos standing on the train. I don't have to worry about the laptop being stolen because, let's face it, it doesn't have an Apple logo. Nobody, nobody's going to look at this thing and assume that, you know, at the time that I bought it, that I have almost $1,000 worth of storage in here. Like, nobody's going to assume that there are two one terabyte SSDs in here from a time when that actually cost about 1000 bucks. Nobody's assuming that. Uh, nobody's going to assume that I have a quad corp, you know, 2.9 gigahertz or 2.7 gigahertz processor in here that's worth money. They, they, they're just going to look at this and assume that it's a beat up old PC that's worthless. But aside from that, let's say it actually did have an Apple logo, which meant that people were going to jump me and try to steal it from me, particularly with the neighborhood that I live in. Um, Look, like, again, you can pull. Again, if you're much, much stronger than me and you attack me, you will get this from me. But ultimately, this has a grip on it because of the extended battery. So and it's not just the extended battery, but it's also the frame design over here. So the frame over here is this little indent on it. See that? And that allows me to grip it. So even if the battery is not in the computer, so let me just take the battery out of the computer so that I can show you. Even if the battery is not in, I'm not going to say that it's ideal, but I can still hold it like this, and I'm good. You know, again, I'm not going to say that I have all the, uh, the, all the grip that I would have if the battery were in the computer, but I could still hold it like that and work. But when you combine this hinged and the lid design with this ba extended battery, what you've actually created is a portable handle. So I can actually hold onto the computer by the battery. I just don't want to do that because I'm kind of afraid of breaking the battery slot. But if I just wanted to hold onto the computer by the battery, that is totally possible. Again, not recommending it. I like to hold on using my fingertips right by the lid over here and then uh, my fingers around the battery. And this is very secure. I edit videos on the train at one in the morning. So let's, you combine the fact that I could hold this in one hand like this and I could literally walk around like this. I could walk from the 7th Avenue train station uh, to the 6th Avenue train station to catch the L train late at night when I'm done eating my food at the 7th Avenue restaurant. And I can... I can do this. I can actually edit video while I'm walking. And again, you're going to think I'm one of those people that's like, blah, 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 blah. no, I, I actually pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm looking forward. And then when I hear something where I need to stop, I do this. I go like this. I look around. I go to the wall. I do this. I make my little edit. And I keep walking. Nuts. But again, it actually, it actually works for me. And again, I say that you should buy machines and you should buy devices and you should buy software that it caters to your personal preference. It should not be about what anybody else tells you to buy.
Should never be about that. That's a lot of one thing that a lot of you trolls in that why I don't use Apple products video don't understand. I'm telling you why I don't use them. It has nothing to do with why you shouldn't use them. One of the reasons that I use this is because this, to me, is actually more portable than an 11-inch MacBook Air. This, to me, is almost even more portable than an iPad because I can grip this in a fashion where if somebody tries to rip it away from me, they can't. I don't know how to grab an iPad with one hand where if you try, you won't be able to grab it away from me. I don't. It's, it's, it's just a square piece of metal and glass with no real grip point. But you combine this with the track point interface over here. So you combine the fact that I can hold it with one hand, and then you take that and you combine it with the track point interface. The cool point about the track point interface is that I can use the mouse buttons and I can scroll, with, and then I don't have to move my hands again to use the keyboard. So let's say I'm using a standard laptop that is a trackpad. I'm using the trackpad, now I have to move over to use the keyboard. I'm using the trackpad, now I have to move over to use the keyboard. That's a real waste of time and it's very inefficient and it's very annoying. Here, if I want to use the keyboard, okay, I do this, then I hit split. I click, then I hit split. I click, then I hit split. I click, then I hit split. I don't have to move, I don't have to make an entire arm movement to do that. I just make a wrist movement and it's very easy. So if I want to edit at a certain point while I'm walking, I do this, I hit S, I know that I don't have to move my right hand much, my left hand is securing the computer, I can do this, if somebody's about to get on the train, I can move over and do this, I don't have to go, oh, oh, okay, let me, let me just make sure I'm holding my laptop perfectly so that it doesn't drop. Again, well, what's going to happen if I take one of these machines out of the slot over here? Let's see if there's a machine for somebody that I don't really care about where I can do a demonstration of dropping it. Anybody who's left something here for a year or two? Sadly, no. Ah, here we go. This is why I don't give a fine fuck about. All right, so, MacBook Air, right? Where's the grip? Where am I going to hold this? I can do this, but now I can't see it. Like, you, you can't really grip it unless it's closed. And God forbid I try to hold this thing upside down. Like, there, there is, there's, no, there's nothing to grab it by. Or let's say by sideways. Whoops, it's dropped. You know? There's nothing that I can do with this computer to, to really secure it while I'm traveling. So, is this lighter? Yes. But I, when I'm using the machine, I, uh, portably, when I'm using it, I'm actually walking around and holding it. And I don't care if the thing weighs, you know, two quarters of an ounce. It, it, it doesn't really matter to me if I can't actually use it. That computer is much lighter. That's great. But once I put it out and put it on a table, I don't really care if the table is pissed off that the computer is two pounds, you know, or eight pounds versus two pounds. Like, this weighs more than that, but it's, it's pissing off the table. You know, it's not pissing off me. I don't really care. So that's one of the reasons that I actually find this more portable than any laptop that's on the market right now. Because again, how many laptops in the market can you do this with? How many laptops in the market can you do that with and still expect that even if I miss and I drop it, it's not going to break? Because I know that. I know from experience, again, it's like set, setting up a camera, on ladder with the camera, adjusting the camera, looking at it in there, whoops, dropped it. It's not broken. It's just a little cracked. But... This is pretty cool. And the reason I mention this is because the new, the new ThinkPad, the, I think it's the P70, they call it. I like that it's, it's a pretty powerful computer. Obviously, I hate the fact that it doesn't have volume buttons on it. It's clear that Lenovo is just is not listening to anything at this point. You've, you know, you, you produce the blogs about the retro machine. You produce the blogs about how you care. And then you come out with a computer that doesn't have dedicated volume buttons. Like, well, well, what the fuck? But again, besides that, one of the things that kind of makes me sad is that the battery is not on the outside of the computer. You don't have the option for this extended battery. And by taking away that extended battery, what you've done is you've actually taken away my ability to use the computer as portably as I did. As I showed you, I can easily hold this computer with the battery not there, but it's not as secure. The battery sticking out of the back of this computer, believe it or not, the way it's designed in the T520, makes this computer, to me, in, in my silly preferences, this actually to me is more portable than a MacBook Air. This is more portable to me than an iPad. This is, this is more portable to me than a lot of portable devices. And again, a lot of people are going to say that's fucked up, that's silly, that's weird, but again, it's personal preference. It's how you work. It's how you do business. It's how you use your device, and it's what makes you the most productive. And for me, I work all day. So whether I'm going out to sites for installations or to do estimates, or I'm fixing motherboards in my chair, or I'm working on business ideas, or I'm teaching, I work all day. And then when I'm done with work, I sit down and I do this video series, usually at 1 or 2 in the morning, on how to do motherboard repairs and all that other stuff. And then when I'm done with that, 
there's really not a lot of time left to edit video. So for me, I spend 20 to 30 minutes on the train going to work and then going home every single day. That's time that I would otherwise spend pretty much doing nothing or staring at the wall. That's time, it's really annoying. So what I do is I just, I edit video and it gives me something to do. It gives me, it allows me to be productive during that time. And the Lenovo ThinkPad T520, the way it is produced, this laptop gives me everything that I need to be productive while standing on a train. So I'm standing on the train and, I'm do, and I can just do this. And again, because of the way the laptop is made, I don't have to worry about bumping in at people. Again, I'm not one of those people that's not aware of their surroundings. There's nothing I, can't, I can stand less than those people that are like, they're walking down the street doing this, or they're walking down the street playing with their iPad, not having a clue where they are. I want to be able to know that if I have to move on a moment's notice so that somebody is not inconvenienced by me standing in their way, that I can do that and not have to worry about my laptop getting screwed up. And that's one of the things that the T520 provides me with. So I hope, Lenovo, when you design the retro series of ThinkPads, when you design that new, thing, that, that new retro series that I really hope comes out because it's going to make a lot of people happy, but more above all, it's going to make you a lot of money because nobody's doing it. You've cornered the market on it. It's a niche. You could charge three to 4000 bucks for that machine with base specs and people will go to it like crazy. What I really hope you do is I hope that you give an option for an extended battery that sticks out the back of the computer. And I hope you give an option that allows nutcases like me to edit videos on the train at two or three in the morning. Because again, as much as a lot of you people are going to think that I'm nuts, believe it or not, this channel actually does get 10,000 unique views a day. 10,000 views a day. That, that's pretty good. And it, it's gained about two or 3,000 subscribers a month. And it's pretty popular. And it's teaching a lot of people how to do a lot of things they didn't know how to do before. And that video content is being produced by me at one in the morning. And it's being edited by a dumbass standing on the train with their four and a half year old, slowly becoming obsolete laptop that I'm holding in my right hand while I'm editing with my left. And that's my workflow. And Lenovo is the only company that allows me that workflow, which is why I'm using a laptop that is Sandy Bridge, that is burning all the time, that is fairly slow compared to modern ones, that is a screen that's using four or five year old technology instead of grabbing a retina. The Retina is way faster than this. You got a PCI Express SSD. You have a screen that looks beautiful compared to this, which in addition to being only 1080p, it also is kind of blurry compared to the screens in your newer products like the W540 and the W541 and the 550. And it's just, it's clunkier, it's older, it feels older, the battery life is crappier, but overall, you allow me a workflow that I cannot get with other products. And because you allow me a workflow that I cannot get with other products, I use your product over all these other ones, in spite of all its deficiencies. So I hope that you continue this, uh, this type of just basic set of features that you're not going to find on any laptop but the older Lenovo ThinkPads in with the retro line. And if I can't wait for the retro line, I might just find a way to hold the uh, P70 on the train while editing video. I have high hopes for this. You, you, again, so many laptop manufacturers with high-end claim to be high-end, and they're not even using PCI Express SSDs. So I think you're really catching on with that, you have a, and especially with the 17.3-inch screen being 4K. I don't know who decided that 17.3-inch needs to top out at 1080p. That's a very 20th century specification, and I, I, don't, I don't understand that. Like, again, cell phones have been 1080p for forever now. Now. So why is it that like when I look at a $3,000 gaming laptop that is a 17 inch screen that's stuck at 1080p is beyond me. But I have some high hopes for the P70. So if the retro doesn't come out in time, I'm going to be happy to get the P70. But please, when you do make the retro, allow me to hold it like this. Allow me to do this with it because the, again, believe it or not, people who do work and make money on these, people who use this laptop for a living are actually doing this. Not random nut jobs, not people who just do unboxings, who point out little cool things. I mean people who use these machines for actual work. I mean people that are actually climbing ladders and putting this computer on the top of the ladder to set up the camera that they're about to install. People who are actually editing videos for YouTube channels that make the money and direct traffic to their business. People who are doing real work on real machines like me, at least one, like this feature. So please include this in the retro. This would be absolutely amazing. Thank you.